I want us to talk, uh, MK guys, let's talk. Uh, I'm just going to show you this clip about the, what is happening in Parliament. And then uh, afterwards, if after you watch this, I'm not going to show you the full thing. Just watch the 10 minutes and then, so let's discuss. If you have already watched it, it's fine. And if you have not watched the 21, it's fine. I can't show you the full thing because the content wasn't produced by me. Uh, I do it in respect of, of, of the content producer. But I just clipped a short I one 10 minutes yana, for you to understand what is happening in Parliament. So you could have a, a response on what. But I, what I want us to discuss is what then should happen. Uh, is the allegiance going to be paid to uh, the constitution or umsholuzi? I just want to understand. I just want us to talk. There are people I spoke to, many other people. Some we do not speak here, but I just want you to listen to it and tell me what should happen to MK's decisions. Should they follow the constitution? Should they follow Jacob Zuma? in terms of firing, because all the guys are complaining that they want to seek an audience with party leader Jacob Zuma. So my problem is, what if Jacob Zuma says, yes, you are fired, uh, get off here so we can put someone else? What if someone says so? Machine political and correct, let's discuss. But what we are here to do is to fight for, for, for justice. Um, so I'm just going to read a statement that we all prepared together, so it begins. We, the 10 members of parliament recently reported to have been expelled from the MK party, wish to provide a formal response and address the situation publicly. First and foremost, we affirm that we remain members in good standing of the MK party and hold deep respect for President Jacob Zuma and his vision for a just and better South Africa. To date, none of us, none of us have received any official expulsion letters from the party. We have not signed any resignation letters, and if such documents exist, we believe that they may have been forged. We were informed by the Chief Whip of our um, alleged expulsion, uh, while resignations were reportedly submitted to the Secretary and Speaker of Parliament without any direct communication with us. This process is not only irregular, but raises serious concerns about transparency and fairness. Our recent communication from Parliament stated that our membership as members of Parliament was terminated due to the loss of our party membership. We firmly believe that this constitutes fraud and a serious violation of legal and procedural standards. We have actively reached out to the party leadership through the Secretary General Dr. Masego and have been in constant communication with senior party leaders to express our grievances and despite these efforts, we have been compelled to seek judicial intervention to address this matter. We have made significant personal sacrifices, including resigning from permanent employment based on the expectation of a full five-year term in Parliament. The abrupt termination of our positions undermines our livelihoods and responsibilities as parents, household heads, and breadwinners. We are deeply concerned that certain individuals, including Comrade Sihlengubane, who is the chief whip of the MK party in parliament, Tutuzile Zuma, who is the daughter of, of, of President Zuma, Ngobim Sezane, who, who is apparently the MK Youth League leader, as well as the head of student of Umkoto West, the student movement. Um, Comrade Tlamulu is a spokesperson, Comrade Nchingila, and, uh, and they are Kahoots. They are manipulating the party for personal gain. They are acting without proper consultation with the president or the broader party leadership. This, is fostered, this has fostered rather an environment of fear and intimidation within the party where dissent is met with expulsion. We urge the MK party to take a decisive action to address these issues. If not, the integrity and future of our organization is at risk. So we have an issue, as I've alluded in this statement, that we, we did not want to be here. We never thought that we would be here, but we find ourselves here. If you could do research about each and every one of us, you will understand the work that we have put in the MK party, and we're doing it voluntarily. We're not expecting anything in return. Because when you join an, an organization, a political organization, you know that whatever you do, it comes from the heart because you believe in the vision of the party. 
So we found ourselves in parliament, being members of parliament, and these guys, uh, some of them who were permanently employed, consulted Comrade Sitler, the chief, to say, should we resign from our jobs because now we are going to parliament or not? And he said they must resign. He did that knowing very well that two months down the line, he would conspire with his friends and his group to expel them from parliament. So that person does not really care about them, does not care about they are lively, they, they, they really don't care. We are not here because we are rebellious. We are not here because we want media attention. But we are here because we are seeking justice. And I understand there have been many questions about Bebu Zuguti. We have done that. We spoke to the leaders of, of, of the organization on numerous occasions. Telephonically, we've been trying to reach them. A time to do reach them, a time you can't. But it's a If we are going to be an organization and we are saying we want to fight uh, fraud, we want to fight corruption, we want to bring a just and equitable South Africa, but we cannot fight such practices within uh, our own ranks, then it means we are failed as an organization. So we are simply here to say we are asking and urging Obama to assist us in this matter, because we have tried to reach out to him, and we know that we are being blocked on purpose. Because when you go and try to report this group that I have mentioned here by names, they make sure that you don't even reach that doorstep at Zengant, because they know that you are going to be reporting the things that they do. Like I'm telling you, even now, some of the members who are not expert in parliament, they are living in fear. Des decisions in parliament are not democratic. We are always being informed that we've taken this decision, we've done one, two, three, and four. There's no consultation, there's no respect for us as MPs. And whenever you try to question those things, we are shown the door, simply because they want to silence us. We are not going to be silent. I believe I'm a member of the MK party, as they've alluded that um, I've resigned from the party. I've never resigned from the party, I never signed any resignation letter. And if that letter does exist, they will have to explain in court as to whose signature it is, and when did that person sign? Because I, Tan Kuzwai, never signed any resignation letter. Um, and these other guys who, whom they say they expelled them, they never received any expulsion letters. As Gaza Sami Sugungu, the party has a party to say that, guys, uh, we want to deploy, we want to put you on the list. It's a strategy, as, as they are saying. It's a strategy, but after two months, we'll remove you and put other people. We, we never received such communication. They never said anything to us just ambushed by the speaker. And I think you must understand where that grievance then comes from. And we must be quiet, we must try to make sure that we resolve things uh, procedurally when they themselves do not follow procedure. So this is a serious matter because it doesn't only affect us as individuals, but it affects our families, our loved ones. They are traumatized, traumatized by this. Because we are on the newspapers, Comrade Lamulo is always enjoying uh, media attention, speaking all Ill, uh, information, mis misleading the country, misleading the people of the MK part. We don't like being here, as Tad, We never imagined that at some point we are going to be here, but we are forced by circumstances. We have played a crucial role in the building of the party, in whatever capacity that we could. We don't own the party, we don't owe the party anything, and the party does not owe us anything. We did everything of the love for the president and his manifesto. As he said, we must all join the MK party if we love our country. We did that, and we contributed. But we are not going to accept abuse from a few individuals who do not want to see this, this organization and this country going forward. Because if you can jeopardize an organization like the MK party, and you are jeopardizing it from within, then it, 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 it honestly means that you, you are really not interested at in seeing any problem. We are know, we know, we are aware on social media, we are being labeled as sellouts, we are taking the party to court. But I've always said that maybe this is a process that the MK party needed so that the real criminals are revealed. The real sellouts who are trying to destroy this party are revealed. The real people who are doing everything so that they gain personally will be revealed through this process. The MK Party is a democratic organization. We believe in a democratic way of doing things as per our constitution. 
and as per uh, our manifesto, the people's mandate, says that we are a democratic organization and we believe in democracy. So going to court, it, it's absolutely nothing wrong. A court is a democratic institution that all members of South Africa, uh, all citizens of South Africa can always go there if they feel that an injustice has occurred. It's not being a rebel against the party. It's not uh, being a rebel against the president. Not at all. We are simply going to court to seek justice because we have tried through organizational processes and we have failed. Um, from me, as lo uh, unless I'm leaving anything, colleagues, we are covered. Yeah. So um, that is just what we wanted to say. And also, um, lastly, I saw a Twitter from my sister, Comrade Uduzile Zuma, saying, "Where did you get the legal fees?" We have never, we have no one, no, absolutely no one, we are not funded by anyone. If maybe she understands how people get funding, we will really appreciate her help because we really need funding for our attorneys. As we are here, we are under their mercy because they realize that there is an injustice and they want to assist us, they want to help us. We give them the little that we have with the hope that we are going to win this case and then we are